Hello and welcome to Tips and Tricks. Today we'll be looking at removing tough rounds through selection and also by capping rounds. And we'll go over that later. The first thing I like to do is to remove the easy ones by double clicking and then pressing fill. And again, I can either press the fill button or press F. So now let's move on to the trickier ones. I can double click to get a chain, but you can see that that fill has failed. So maybe I'll get the entire chain. You can see that a little bit better. And now that I've got the entire chain, I press F for fill. I can remove that. All right, so let's move on to another one. So here I double click to remove it. And again, pressing fill, but I seem to be forgetting that face there. So let's try it again with the entire chain selected. And that's the first thing I'd like to do, is always isolate chains. So we can see it's thinking an awful long time, and it's failed. So next thing we'll do is try to cap individual rounds. You can see I selected on one round and pressed fill, and it's removed just that one round from the model. So I can isolate the geometry a little bit more. Let's select on the round here. Then go to fill it, and it's removed just that round from the model. Same thing here, too. So now that I've done that, I can now select on this chain here. You can see it's attached to these rounds. And I'll hit fill, and everything was removed. Let's get rid of the small one here, too. So now we have another chain here that we want to get rid of. But it seems to be pretty big. And if I go to remove it, it's going to fail here, too. So let's add my own capping face. I can select on that and go to split face. And now we'll split it along this edge. Now that I've isolated that region, I can fill that so I've produced my own capping face. Now I can then fill in the chain here and move on to our last chain that's now fully isolated. I can select on it and remove the last one from the model. So that's how we can remove rounds through selection and also by capping the faces. Thank you very much for watching.